But the truth is, holiness is a matter of your heart. Yes, actions are a part of it, and yes, you can have a holy veneer, so to speak, a holy mass, but holiness comes from here. So if all you're doing is running away from bad people and bad things, which, by the way, there's a moment and a time to do that, to flee temptation, but if all you're doing is avoiding out here bad stuff, but then you're not changing in here, then you're just going to go and desecrate the next situation or the next relationship or the next whatever that you run to. Holiness is, is pursuing God and being set apart for His purposes with everything that we do. Whether it's a work, whether it's a relationship, whether it's uh, how, how you are with your neighbors. There's tons of different ways that you can be holy because it's supposed to, to touch every part of your life. And whatever or whomever may be getting in your way, that needs to be dealt with. When you're on the trip of holiness, if you're in the sanctification vehicle heading towards holiness and there's something that's getting in your way, it needs to either be redeemed or rejected. Right? Right? It's going to get in your way, and so you're going to need to either redeem it like God wants to, that relationship, that whatever else. You need to either redeem it and make it a part of your journey of holiness, or it needs to be put to the side. 